This video is going to be about how we find either the radius or the perpendicular height of a cone when the volume is given. So if you find this work challenging, I suggest you go back and try the previous video where I show you how to use the formula. As a reminder, the key thing to remember is that you do not need to remember this formula because you find it in the, on the formula page of your exam. So my first example, you're given, you're given that the volume is 2,000 centimetres cubed, you're told that the radius is 10 centimetres, and you need to find the perpendicular height of the cone. So my suggestion with a question like this is that you start with a formula. So we know that again, that the volume is a third times pi times the radius squared times by the height. And I'm going to substitute in all of the information that I know. So I know in this case, the volume is 2,000 centimetres cubed, the third stage as it is, so does pi. We know the radius, we know that that's going to be 10 squared, and finally, we don't know the height, so we leave that as h. And all I need to do now is rearrange this equation. So if you think about what I've done to the height, I can, I've multiplied it by 10 squared and pi and a third. So I just need to divide by all of those things. So I'll end up with height equals 2,000 divided by a third times pi times 10 squared. And I'll type it in exactly like that on my calculator. So it's 2,000 divided by, I open the bracket, and I'm going to use a third. Multiplied by pi multiplied by 10 squared. And I get an answer there of 19.0985 and so on. Now quite often the question will ask you for three significant figures. So in this particular question, there's my first significant figure, second, third. I need to look at this nine to decide what happens? Will this zero stay as it is or round up to a one? In this case, because the nine is greater than five, it'll round up to a one. So my height will be 19.1. And remember, it's a height, so the unit therefore is just in centimetres. Moving on to my second example. In this example, I'm telling you that the volume is 1,600 metres cubed. You're told the perpendicular height of the cone, and this time you need to find the radius. So, start the question in exactly the same way. We know the formula, it's in our formula booklet, so it's on the formula page in the front of the exam. So, third pi r squared h. So, again, put in the information that you know. So, we know that the volume is 1600, that's equal to a third times pi times the radius squared, which we don't know, times by the height, which was 15 metres. We need to get the radius by itself. So the first thing to do is get rid of the third pi and the 15 that I've multiplied by. So on my calculator, I'll type in 1,600 divided by, brackets again, a third times pi times 15. Just tap that in, 1,600 divided by, making sure I use a bracket, a third times pi times 15. And on my calculator, I've got 101.8591636. Now you'll notice there's a slight difference in this example. And the difference is that this is equal to r squared. I just need to know what the radius is. So I now need to square root that. So for the examiner's benefit, I'll write this. So what I've actually done in my calculator, I've left that number up on my calculator because even this long number here is just an approximation. So I leave the long number in my calculator and then just press the square root button and then equals. It finds me a very precise answer because remember, you're not supposed to round your answer until the very end of the question. And the answer there is 10.0925. 3009 to three significant figures, which to three significant figures, sorry about that, which to three significant figures, 
would be 10.1 and then again because it's just a length and this time the units are in meters so that's 10.1 meters so here are two questions for you to have a go at first of all with question one i'd like to try and find me the perpendicular height of the cone and in question two i'd like you to try and find me the radius of the cone 